Yo guys, what's up? It's your girl Dev, and today we're going to talk about the 2021 Jumper Guide to help you as a player prepare your account for a new kingdom in Rise of Kingdoms. And let me tell you something, they nerfed jumpers big time. Like, I'm talking massive changes to the jumper because of the fact that they changed these things that we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Um... You might want to rethink doing a jumper account and where you're going to do this jumper because with these changes, yeah, they nerfed it big time. They didn't tell anybody. So if you plan on doing a jumper anytime soon, you might want to stay tuned. So stick around, sit back, and enjoy the ride. So let's talk about how they changed beginner teleports, essentially how they changed the way that you can immigrate in kingdoms with the jumper account. We used to be able to uh, use your two beginner teleports to teleport from one kingdom to another kingdom. And let's say you wanted to start in a kingdom winning KVK, you get those end of KVK rewards, then you teleport to a baby kingdom couple days old with like five days left of your teleport and then you spend a couple of days there spend out and do stuff in there and then on like the eighth or ninth day you teleport to a brand new kingdom and voila now you've got an advantage they changed it and now you can only teleport to a new kingdom one time because of this beginner's immigration you can now only teleport to one kingdom because it's like an immigration ticket and they have to be in that nascent phase. So wherever you create your account, you can remember, you can only go to newer. So if you, you can create it in like the kingdom that your main account's in and then you can jump to a baby kingdom, like brand new, a couple hours old, and now you have an advantage from being in an old kingdom you spawn little hearts, you could be get forged, you can get books, yeah, stuff like that. So there is benefit of being with like an older kingdom. And then you can do like the mid kingdom where like you're winning KVK and you create an account in that kingdom. And now you can only receive the kingdom rewards for honor. You can't get the other rewards. Unfortunately, they removed that feature um, in December of 2020, so you can't you can't get those other rewards. No more heads. No more speed, speed ups. No more massive amounts of resources. The only thing you get is like a little bit of resources and a couple hours of speed ups, and some gold keys, of course. But that's it. Um, there's some other benefits of being in a older kingdom the map is fully defogged so now you don't have to worry about clicking around and defogging the map and you can click caves and villages and we'll talk about that later so th that's an option or you can create an account in a baby baby kingdom go to like the seventh day because if you pass the rise of kingdoms event which is this one right here um if you finish this event too early you won't be able to get this chest, which is at the top, and you'll get these emblems, and the emblems are used for the hero's return, which we'll talk about again later. But essentially, you can only spend seven days in a baby kingdom, and then you have to migrate, or you're gonna lose your chance at those rewards. Keep that in mind when you're creating this account. Um, but there's, again, we're gonna talk about further along in the series, different ways and methods to creating an account and jumpers. But we really need to focus the changes that they made from 2020 to 2021. And this is the biggest change. You can now use your beginner's teleport and teleport anywhere on the map that's defogged. Like for this account specifically, I started like way over here. As you can tell, like I have nothing defogged. I started here. And then I used my beginner's teleport to teleport next to my alliance. Before, you really couldn't do that. You could teleport anywhere in the zone, but now you can teleport in any of the beginning zones. I 
don't really remember being able to do that before. But then again, I never used my beginning teleports for the actual purpose of getting closer to your alliance. I use them to migrate. So maybe that's why they changed it. Hard to say, but it makes sense. And that's going to wrap it up for the first episode in the Jumper series. Now, remember, this is the first episode. The series is going to have a couple of different types of episodes because there's multiple different phases in a Jumper account. And each one is very important, especially if you've never created it before. And this is your first time playing Rise of Kingdoms. Creating a Jumper is not a bad thing. They've definitely made changes to it to make it not so beneficial. But overall, it's still very good. But they still nerfed it. So... I mean, meh. I'm not super excited about the nerf. I'm probably more disappointed than anything, but it, they're going to make changes because they want to support different tiers of players, and that just says how it is. It's a game. They're going to change it. They're developers, and they didn't tell anybody. No surprise, because people probably like would have gotten really upset about it, but this is your opportunity to make a statement. Jump into the Rise of Kingdoms Discord. It'll be posted in the description in this video so that you can have access to it and post your suggestion. Just make sure it's one suggestion per post. Your voice can finally be heard. So just keep that in mind while you're going through the Discord. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, a subscribe, comment below. What are your thoughts on the nerf? I'm pretty disappointed, but it is what it is. Can't do much, but talk to them about potentially changing it. That's it for me. That's it for now, guys. Just keep it real.